What is going on, Comfy Gang? And welcome to the fourth episode of the Neat Ascension. And today, um, well, I was originally gonna do a bunch of exercises showing what I do to fix my posture, but I think I'm gonna say that for another time when I find a way to make it a lot more inter interesting and where I don't look like, um, I don't know, retarded basically. So um, instead, I'm gonna be talking about something that I was introduced to a long time ago that I think I want to um, incorporate a lot more into my life and that would be meditation. So you might be thinking that I've, I've lost my mind and have become some new age, you know, hippie, basically hippie who, um, I don't know, buying into all this spirituality nonsense and, you know, believing in like chakras and whatever, like levitating and shit, moving, like, I don't know, doing the fucking uh, Naruto hand signs and, uh, you know, controlling your chakra or whatever. And, you know, I don't, I don't think this is part of that, to be honest. Um, the way I was introduced to meditation was really more as a form of therapy because my aunt is a therapist and she incorporates a lot of this stuff into her practice. And she kind of introduced it to me back in the day where I wasn't really, you know, that, I guess, you know, that into it. I wasn't really a massive believer of meditating and all that stuff but you know over time and after experiencing certain things i realized that you know meditation you know or spiritual spirituality isn't really what most people think it is um a lot of people assume it's some sort of like new age i don't know new age whatever nonsense about yeah like i talked about before but really um I guess I feel like is actually one of those things that is beneficial in a lot of ways. And even if you don't believe in the whole spiritual aspect of it, because it is kind of hard to get into, which and I'm not gonna talk about it that extensively in this video because, um, well, first of all, I don't really understand it that well myself. I don't have a lot of you know, experience meditating. Maybe I'll become more of a believer if I do it more, but um, well, I think meditation is really more of a kind of like a mental exercise, if you will. Um, it's an exercise in discipline. And it's also, um, you know, it's also a way of kind of, you know, seeing things objectively because a lot of times when we go about life, we tend to be caught up in our emotions and, you know, controlled by all these feelings, which kind of like, you know, dictate our thoughts. And then we see the world through this lens and that lens, you know, Okay, I'm sounding like a hip, a dump, like a fucking hippie right now, but um, this lens is our quote unquote ego. It's like your personality and all of the stories that you tell yourself. Um, I don't know if anybody, if I'm even making sense right now, but it's like all the stories that we tell ourselves and um, you know, they come up in our thoughts. But when you think about it, where do your thoughts really come from, right? They're just completely arbitrary. Well, they're kind of influenced by your past experiences, your past choices, your past behaviors, your past thoughts even, and your genetics, I guess, to an extent. But at the end of the day, um, they really just kind of, you can kind of direct where your thoughts go. Like for example, if you're trying to solve a problem, you might, you might think, oh, I need to solve this problem and then you kind of focus on it and then the thoughts just start coming but the thoughts themselves are really arbitrary and you know it's kind of good in the sense that you know it's all automated it's like your subconscious maybe or you know the spiritualists will say it's the universe flowing through you i don't really believe in that as of now i think it's kind of you know maybe romanticizing it although it, it is a good way to get people into it i guess but I think at the same time, while it can be helpful, it can also be extremely detrimental. Like if you're an extremely negative person like I am with social anxiety, with all these other issues, you know, I don't know, even maybe somewhere on the spectrum. Um, although I don't even know if this applies to that, to be honest, maybe that's completely different. But when you're always thinking, it's like you can always, you can very easily get caught up in it. And you know, the thoughts will just keep on coming. And it's like, 
when you think about one thing, it's like your mind just goes on autopilot and you go from one thought to the next to the next. And for and before you know it, you've kind of, for example, taken something that might have been just basically maybe like a slight, you know, misunderstanding or maybe just someone teasing you and or someone or I don't know, you know, maybe someone honked at you in traffic and then you think one thing about it and then it amplifies your feelings and your your feelings amplify your thoughts and it's like a positive feedback loop which just basically can turn into a whole bunch of like bs about you over inflating something that was really nothing in the first place and what meditation is is basically interrupting that whole chain of events in your mind that's happening internally and it's basically just saying like shut the fuck up like telling your mind to shut the fuck up and just basically pay attention because that's all meditation really is is paying attention and you know i probably sound like i'm trying to transition into my whole like you know self-improvement course whatever some bullshit like i'm shilling for meditation but that's just me intellectually understanding meditation Um, i promise you guys um I'm, I'm going to be offering you guys real value, like my OnlyFans, for example. I'm not actually going to sell you guys a course. I kind of joked about it on the Discord, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, that's the whole point of meditation is to basically say, you know, shut the F up and just pay attention. And it's not even in like such an aggressive way. It's just basically shutting off the part of your mind that's responsible for thinking. And, you know, a lot of people fall in love with thinking they think it's a virtue being rational thinking and you know just basically rationalizing your thinking as if it's a good in and of itself but the interesting the interesting thing is that while a lot of the good in this world has come from our minds the same the same can be said for a lot of the suffering because when you think about it your emotions are really just uh, feelings inside your body that are interpreted by your mind. And that's something that I could get into in another video as well. But um, this is just me basically describing my current understanding of meditation. It's probably not very deep, but um, I think it might help some people. It definitely helped me sort of understand, you know, the way I think and It has helped me a little bit in feeling better, I guess. You know, maybe not losing my cool sometimes or saying stupid things I'll regret or, um, yeah, doing dumb stuff. But, um, yeah, I intend to meditate a lot more. um, And it's something that you can basically do anytime. You don't have to necessarily sit um, and cross-legged and, you know, do this crap or whatever. Like, you can just literally do it Um, when you're at your chair, maybe just check yourself every, you know, do a vibe check. I can fucking cringe. Um, like check yourself every, like, I don't know, whenever you can remember basically and kind of say, okay, what am I feeling right now? Um, but your posture even like, it just basically kind of like shuts off the autopilot and puts you in the driver's seat just for a moment. And, you know, some people are in the driver's seat a lot for most of the time they're awake but for the vast majority of people they're really in autopilot and that's how you get the whole consumer consumer phenomenon or screwler you know people just consume 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 and they literally you know they hunch over gradually because they're they're not paying attention to the way their body is feeling that it's uncomfortable and then it just becomes a new normal and you know it's all these things that i feel might naturally correct themselves if well if at least maybe i started you know getting into meditation and i could probably talk about some of the deeper benefits of it but i'm not really in a position to i think i've experienced some things but I can't say for certain because a lot of times I end up trying something and then, you know, not pushing through with it because I forget about it. And I tell people that I'm making so much progress on it, but I really 
forget about it within like a day or two, not a day, maybe like a week or two. So anyways, yeah. So for the remainder of this video, I am going to be filming myself meditating and I'll let you guys know how I feel after. Yo, okay, so I have the corny meditation music playing. Um, I'm gonna turn down the volume so I don't get striped. And I normally don't meditate with music, but um, I'm just doing it for the memes for, yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna start to try and meditate, so uh, wish me luck. Um, and I'll just talk about what I was paying attention to um, afterwards, so yeah. Namaste, motherfuckers. Is that what you're supposed to say? Is that yoga or something? All right, time to stop thinking.